Hey guys, it's Kathy. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about fidget toys and why they're pretty cool. So stay tuned. You gonna do it? I did it. <laughs> All right, welcome and welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Kathy. I'm a homeschool mama of two little girls. And I love sharing all things homeschool, motherhood, and some fun DIYs sprinkled all up in there. So if you like that kind of content, then please um, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos. So we are talking about fidget toys today. We have a ton of them. There are so many different ones out there. If you saw our first day of homeschool video, you saw that actually my gift for the girls on the first day were some new fidget toys. Um, I gave them some of those little monkey noodle things and, um, one of these little new fidget spinners, which is also the little dimple poppets as well. So I'm gonna show you some really cool ones that we are adding to our fidget bin. But before I do that, let's just talk about why fidget toys are so awesome. First, fidget toys reduce stress and anxiety. Um, I don't know about you, but when I'm stressed or anxious, I actually like click my, my nails, I'll do this, right? So your body is like reacting and like is needs to fidget, right? So you fidget, you flip your, you, you tap your fingers, you flip your nails, you shake your foot, whatever to kind of relieve some of that extra energy that's in you from your anxiety and stress and fidget toys help with that. So instead of clicking your fingernails, tapping your teeth, tapping your toe, um, a fidget will actually help get that energy out or even like sitting and just spinning you're still releasing that energy. So not only does it help release that energy that you have from stress and anxiety, but research has also shown that when you fidget with something, when you can have this movement, it helps increase your focus. So this helps increase your kids' focus because they're releasing that movement, that energy, and then it stimulates their brain to focus in on um, whatever it is that they need to work on. Fidget toys can also create movement to help stimulate the brain stem. Um, that sounds very scientific. Um, anyhow, <laughs> so sometimes like your kids will wake up, right? And they're kind of like awake, but they're not awake. Or you're talking to them, they're kind of zoned out. And they're kind of like moving on autopilot. It's because they need that extra movement to get their, as you would say, get your blood pumping. Um, that's what a fidget toy can do. So if they're waking up in the morning, popping on one of these, or they're stretching their monkey noodle, or they're stretching their pop tubes. Like that's something that is causing movement that's gonna help simulate their brainstem and kind of get things running. And finally, it just provides <laughs> mental fun. Guys, it's a nice mental break, especially when you have had a lot to do in the day, just to kind of take a mental break and almost zone out, just relax have some fun and sometimes when you step away for a moment and then you come back you're that much more focused so just use these as toys honestly to kind of take that time away if you're doing your learning you're doing your schooling let your kids step away play with their fidget toys um and then come back and they're ready to go so i'm going to show you some fidgets right now that we're adding to our fidget bin some fidgets are really toys they're really made to kind of have that mental break and I kind of show you a couple of those. So it's the ones that are a little bit more no noisy, you probably don't want to use those while, while you're doing your read aloud. Using a fidget like this while you're doing your read aloud will definitely help them um, have movement, release that energy, but also focus in on what you are reading. So um, let's take a look at what fidgets we're adding to our fidget bin. How stinking cute is this rainbow themed keyboard? Um, I love it because it is a poppet. It's super soft to pop so it doesn't make a lot of noise. You can use it for letter recognition, spelling, keyboard practice, so many things. I also grabbed um, some of these little smaller poppets. This is a heart-shaped one. Again, it's super soft, so it doesn't make a ton of noise. It will not be distracting to you if you're reading or any other kids. All right, so the next um, poppet that we have is a keychain poppet. So you can hook it on bags, you can take it with you. You don't worry about it being lost because you can attach it to um, something, but it is also a poppet. It's a unicorn, super cute, and it's super soft. Again, it does not make a ton of noise, so it won't be distracting to anyone around. Now this next toy my kids love, 
but I do not recommend if you are trying to do quiet time or work with other kids. It's a pop tube. It makes a really fun noise. So if it's like playtime, if they have some free time, that's a great toy. Also, this is a um, just a regular fidget spinner, but it's more of the dimple simple dimple kind of pop it so those actually make a bit more noise so again if you want quiet time that is not necessarily what you would want these infinity cube fidgets are awesome because you can kind of build and shape them into different shapes and a great little tool to keep those hands busy now oh my gosh how cute are these little um squishy kawaii animals and they kind of have like a really soft kind of like a velvet type texture to them so they're squishy they're super cute you can stretch them play with them rub on them um, but great little pieces to kind of keep in your hand so the kids love them we have like a snail a dino a seal and maybe a little slug I don't know what that is but it's cute now these are my absolute favorite these are like acupuncture uh, finger rings and you just kind of place them on your finger and go each finger one by one and kind of roll them on, massage your fingers. They're not designed to stay on your fingers, but they're great to roll on and off. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know in the comments guys, do your kids have veggie toys? What are their favorites? What do they love, love, love so that we can add them to our bin because Clearly my kids like fidgets. Anyhow, don't forget, head over to Instagram where you can hang out with me and the family on the daily. And if you like this video and you like this kind of content, then please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos. And I'll talk with you guys in a couple of days.